kind of fellow drinking peace? Ogden is the best man in town. I don't think his wife likes me much, but as long as she keeps tapping kegs, I'll like her just fine. Seems like I've been spending more time with Ogden than most, but he's so good to me. What ails you, my friend? Cain is a true friend and a wise sage. He maintains a vast library and has an innate ability to discern the true nature of many things. Well, what can I do for you? Well, I have to practically smuggle in the metals and tools I need from caravans that skirt the edges of our damned town. That witch Adria always seems to get whatever she needs. If I knew even the smallest bit about how to harness magic as she did, I could make some truly incredible things. Hello, my friend. Stay a while. Ogden has owned and run the Rising Sun Inn and Tavern for almost four years now. He purchased it just a few short months before everything here went to hell. He and his wife, Garda, do not have the money to leave as they invested all they had in making a life for themselves here. He is a good man with a deep sense of responsibility. I sense a soul in search of answers. The hand, the heart, and the mind can perform miracles when they are in perfect harmony. The healer Pepin sees into the body in a way that even I cannot. His ability to restore the sick and injured is magnified by his understanding of the creation of elixirs and potions. He is as great an ally as you have in Tristram. I need something done, but I couldn't impose on a perfect stranger. Perhaps after you've been here a while, I might feel more comfortable asking a favor. Thank goodness you've returned. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. All was peaceful until the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged away to become slaves, or worse. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Thank goodness you return. Good day. How may I serve you? My grandmother had a dream that you would come and talk to me. She has visions, you know, and can see into the future. Over here! Adria truly bothers me. Sure, Cain is creepy in what he can tell you about the past, but that witch can see into your past. She always has some way to get whatever she needs, too. Adria gets her hands on more merchandise than I've seen pass through the gates of the King's Bazaar during High Festival. Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus, he led us down here to find the Lost Prince. The bastard led us into a trap. 
Now everyone is dead. Killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avengers! Find this Butcher and slay him, so that our souls may finally rest. The sanctity of this place has been fouled.
your death will be avenged. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the tavern. Yes, Farnham has mumbled something about a hulking brute who wielded a fierce weapon. I believe he called him a butcher. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? Well, what can I do for you? Greetings, good master. Welcome to the... Yes, Farnham has mumbled something about a hulking brute. Well, what can I do for you? I saw what Farnham calls the Butcher, as it swathed a path through the bodies of my friends. Ah, uh, he swung a cleaver as large as an axe, hewing limbs and cutting down brave men where they stood. I was separated from the fray by a host of small screeching demons, and somehow, found the stairway leading out. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. It seems that the Archbishop Lazarus goaded many of the townsmen into venturing into the labyrinth to find the king's missing son. He played upon their fears and whipped them into a frenzied mob. None of them were prepared for what lay within the cold earth. Lazarus abandoned them down there, left in the clutches of unspeakable horrors, to die. And a fell drinking geese big, big cleaver, killing all my friends. Couldn't stab him, had to run away, couldn't save them. Trapped in a room with so many bodies. So many friends! <laughs> what ails you, my friend? By the light I know of this vile demon. There were many that bore the scars of his wrath upon their bodies when the few survivors of the charge led by Lazarus crawled from the cathedral. I don't know what he used to slice open his victims, but it could not have been of this world. It left wounds festering with disease, and even I found them almost impossible to treat. Beware if you plan to battle this fiend. Good day. How may I serve you? When Farnham said something about a butcher killing people, I immediately discounted it. But since you brought it up, Maybe it is true.
I can't use this yet. this.
I can't carry any more. I have no room. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. do for you. I sense a soul in search of answers. I do for you. Whoa, what can I do for you? Spirits of the dead are now avenged.
Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? I sense a soul in search of answers. Oh, oh such a trouble I have. Well, maybe... No, I, I couldn't impose on you, what with all the other troubles. Maybe after you've cleansed the church of some of those creatures. I sense a soul in search of the greatest power is often the shortest lived. You may find ancient words of power written upon scrolls of parchment. Oh, what can I do for you? That lad is gonna get himself into serious trouble. Or I guess I should say, again. <laughs> <laughs> 